It's time for the Fast Break Basketball Show with your hosts, Wes Cusswood and Ben Davis. Welcome to this week's episode of the Fast Break Basketball Show. I am your host, Beth Davis, and I am standing here at the Geelong Arena after the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats went down to the Waverley Falcons by 11 points, 74-85 the final score in the preliminary final. They were hoping to head into the championship NBL 1 South game next weekend against the Bendigo Braves, but unfortunately fell to the Waverley Falcons. After the game, I caught up with head coach Matthew Payton to chat about the result. Well, I'm here with the head coach of the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women's team, Matthew Payton. Matthew, obviously not the way we wanted to finish the season, losing by 11 points to Waverley in the final tonight, but a fantastic effort by the girls all year. You must be really proud of this team. Yeah, we've, uh, we've faced our share of adversity this year and the, and the team's just continued to front up and, and give their best effort. And, uh, you know, we probably, um, in fairness to, uh, to Waverley, didn't give the greatest representation of, of uh, our talents tonight, but... Uh, there's no doubting the, the grit and determination and the fact that the girls just refused to give up and, and I couldn't be more proud as, as their head coach. Well, obviously Chantelle Horvat was ruled out through injury tonight so didn't take the court against Waverley and she was obviously a very big missing piece for you guys. You know, she had a great game against them three weeks ago when you played them and won in overtime and the team really did seem to miss her scoring presence out there tonight. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something though that I think we... Uh, it, it, we're no stranger to, to being down personnel, you know, whether it was Monica and Chantel at, at, um, at Asia Cup um, or, or various, you know, late arrivals and um, absences through injury. So, you know, we, while we would have loved to have Chantel out there, you know, um, and, and I'm sure she would have made a difference had she um, taken the floor, uh, we, we knew early on that that was going to be the case and, uh, you know, we adapted our game plan and um, I just, I think, you know, we just had to... Uh, try and find our, our options, our scoring uh, opportunities elsewhere and probably didn't get the get a few of those roles tonight that we would have loved, um, especially on the home floor, but um, we loved, the, loved the, uh, the home support here. It was a fantastic crowd. Well, I did also just want to mention, of course, Ella and Monica both getting into foul trouble in the third quarter. That also restricts you a little bit in terms of how you can play them on the floor and what they're able to do in terms of the physicality of the game. And it, it really was a very different game to when you played Waverley last time, which again was quite a physical matchup. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, you expect the physicality to go up a little bit in finals. The intensity goes up and normally the physicality goes with it. Um, you know, I think Waverley did, uh, did a good job of, um, of initiating, a lot, initiating a lot of that physicality and we probably didn't uh, deal with it, or at least the, uh, the foul count would say that we didn't deal with that um, as well as them. Um, and yeah, it does restrict you when uh, you have players who are you know, naturally physical and aggressive and, and wanting to, uh, to play that way. When they have that number of fouls against their name, they, they do have to curb their uh, their instincts. So, but that you know that being said, um, you know I, I think they uh, they managed their, their situation well. We had um, you know some players obviously come off the bench and play larger roles than, than usual tonight. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, we uh, we just didn't get it done. And Waverley goes through to the to the grand final. Well, they will be going through to the grand final next week against the Bendigo Braves. But Matt, as we said, a fantastic season by the girls. Disappointing not to be there next week, but you can't be uh, too upset with the season they've had. As you said, with all the adversity that you guys have faced, fantastic even just to make it here. Yeah, we're, we're pleased. Obviously, we would have loved to have uh, you know, at least gone one step further. Um, uh, but you know, that being said, you know, a huge thank you to all of our sponsors, um, to you guys for the media coverage. Uh, the fans tonight, you know, we had well over 1,000 people here for a standalone women's basketball match, which, you know, it's a... It's a uh, not something that's lost on our on these um, women's basketball players for Geelong United Supercats. So, um, you know, we'll uh, we'll review and, and reload ready for, for next year. But uh, this one will sting for a little while. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, very uh, very happy and, and proud with the effort that the girls put forward tonight. And unfortunately, we just didn't get it done. But yeah, they they um, they gave their all. Well, thanks, man. And we look forward to seeing everyone back here next year to watch the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats. Well, as Matt said, the team certainly did miss Chantel Horvat, who wasn't able to play against the Waverley Falcons due to injury. But there were some standout performances from the team, and after the game, I also caught up with players Eve Braslis and Sarah Ellsworthy to talk about the game and the season overall. 
Well, I'm here with Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women's player Eve Brasless after a tough loss to the Waverley Falcons here at the Geelong Arena. Eve, obviously not the way you guys wanted to go out, but a fantastic effort from the team playing through all four quarters and a great season overall. Oh, definitely. I mean, we've been underestimated the whole season going in. Um, we knew what, how good we were. We knew what we could do. Um, and I think even making it this far, you know, that was a great achievement for our team, but it's definitely a disappointing loss. We wanted to go all the way and we knew we had the ability um, to win all of South. So it's a disappointing loss, but still a really good effort for us. Well, you guys had a fantastic win over Mount Gambier on the road to, to make it here. Um, but of course, not the way you wanted to finish it off, playing really hard, but you yourself had to play extra minutes with Monica and Ella getting into foul trouble in that third quarter. How is that for you in, in trying to play through that sort of, um, you know, with Chantal not playing as well and trying to lift for the whole team to, to try and make that fight back against the Falcons? Oh, look, it's always difficult. It's always hard being down. Um, it helps that we had a home crowd, honestly. That gave us the motivation, like, we were fighting to the last minute, to the last second, honestly. Um, for me, it's, you know, I was jumping around in different positions. It was a bit undersized, you know, so it was a battle for the whole game. Uh, but we knew that going in. So, um, honestly, they just made some shots made some tough shots, we made some little errors, and that's basketball. It is basketball, and again, as we said, not the way you guys wanted to go out, but congratulations again on a fantastic season, and again, thank you to all the fans for coming out and supporting the women's team, and we hope to see you back here next year. Oh, and Eve, I did also want to talk about what you're doing next. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing heading to Iceland, I believe. Yes, I know, how random. <laughs> so, yeah, I signed with a team in Iceland, um, and I'm going to be heading over sometime in September uh, for the Europe season, and, yeah, it's just super exciting. I just didn't know what was next and sort of they reached out and it was sort of fell into my lap so I'm really excited to head over there. Well we wish you the best of luck over in Iceland for the European season and we'll be watching closely and cheering you on from here in Geelong. Thank you. Well I'm here with co-captain of the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats Sarah Ellsworthy after a heartbreaking loss to the Waverley Falcons here at the Geelong Arena. Sarah obviously not the way we wanted to finish out the season but a fantastic crowd out here tonight to see you guys play the game. Yeah, um, obviously disappointing. No one likes to lose. Um, there has to be a team that loses, though, I guess. But our crowd was amazing. It was so much fun to play in front of everyone. And the atmosphere right now with all the kids is awesome. So we love it. Well, again, you guys would normally be playing a curtain raiser before the men's game. But how good is it tonight to be able to play a standalone game and be out here with all the fans and signing autographs with the kids and just seeing all these people here coming out and supporting you guys? Yeah, we love it. I think um, since I've been at just Geelong, it's improved every year. Our crowd's got bigger and bigger and there's more and more kids and families here to watch us. So we really love it and we hope um, this momentum can continue into next year. Well, obviously the season is over for this year, but again, we're already talking about next year. So will you be back for the team next year and what can we expect in, in looking forward? Are you guys obviously wanting to go that next step further and make it to the championship game next year? Yeah, um, I, I will be here next year. Um, yeah, hopefully one step further next year. We've built on last year, so hopefully we can keep getting better and better. And I do just also want to talk a little bit about the game. Agnieszka Skoba was incredible with her steals in that game. Talk to me a little bit about her joining the team and just her defensive efforts throughout the game. She's everywhere. She's got like, I don't know, she just, people, she just reads the play so well. She's long, she's so athletic. Um, she's so fun to play with. I'm so glad she's on our team, not the other team. <laughs> Well, Sarah, as we said, not the way we wanted to finish, but a fantastic season overall for the Supercats. So congratulations on a great season, and we look forward to seeing you back here next year. Thank you. Well, our NBL1 Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women were not the only team in finals contention last weekend. Our Navexa Geelong United Youth League 1 men also had a finals game on Sunday afternoon against the Hume City Broncos. Let's check in and see how they fared. Well, unfortunately, the news was not any better for our Navexa Geelong United Youth League 1 men. Going down to the Hume City Broncos on Sunday afternoon in their semi-final, the final score 91 to 103. Bailey Bruce led the way with 28 points, 4 rebounds. Marach Marach finished with 18 points and 7 rebounds. Jack Moran had 16 points, 5 rebounds. Despite the loss, Geelong United will still get the opportunity to qualify for VYC next year. They will play in a play-in qualification tournament in February. Also, congratulations going out to Bailey Bruce and Marach Marach from the Youth League One men's team. They have both been named as finalists in the All-Star 5 and MVP voting. Cassidy Green from the Youth League One women also named as a finalist in All-Star 5 and MVP voting. And Marach Marach has been named as a finalist in Defensive Player of the Year for Youth League One men. 
Well, it might seem like this is easy to do, but it's not always easy. Let's take a look at some of the bloopers from this year's Fast Break Basketball Show. In a thriller and the men losing by 10 points. After the game, after the women... With the Sandringham Sabres winning by three points and you had a chance to catch up with head coach just... Uh, I was about to say Justin Shuler. <laughs> Matthew Payton. Okay, sorry. It was a night of triple header action at the Geelong Arena and we first... No, sorry. I'm not going to say that. Cause, and after the game, I caught up with head coach Matthew Payton and... I just forgot to <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'll do that again. Judy's. Um, but we have got Puka Deng in the side now as well and you guys seem to be really just clicking, even without Monica. You guys seem to be really... Do we need it? And women both got the win over the Ngunnawading Spectres. The women were first up, getting an 86 to 67 win over the Spectres. The, uh, uh, sorry, I was doing so well. Spectres by eight points, 90-82 the final score. After the game, I caught up with head coach Grant Wallace, and I forgot who else I spoke to. <laughs> The Nunawading Spectres by eight points after the game. I caught up with head coach Grant Wallace and player Liam Herbert. Player? No, sorry, let me do that again. Sorry. Arena. They headed to Tasmania for the road double to take on Northwest Tasmania and Launceston and the Hobart Chargers. Let's take some look. At... Sorry. Well, as well as NBL 1 action this weekend, our Big V Youth League teams took on some teams as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. As well as past Geelong players, there were also some past Ballarat players in attendance and I caught up with Bus Bal... <laughs> Sorry. Go again. Well, I'm here with one of the legends of Ballarat basketball, Ricky Daniels. Ricky, fantastic uh -oh. to see you back here at the Geelong Arena. <laughs> Rick and I look on well, I was standing with Rick when he played with us, and my, my, my child ran up and grabbed his leg. And, and, I was like, and I was like this. I'm dead. That's Rick. I was like, oh! So, I got it. The girls played in a final here and it hopes to make it through to the NBL 1 South Championship. Okay, sorry, go again. Women were not the only team in finals contention last weekend. Out of Exa, you know, yeah. Okay, sorry. Go again. Probably smell like chicken wings on my breath, so. <laughs> Outtakes. Well, that's it from this week's episode of the Fast Break Basketball Show and for this year for the Fast Break Basketball Show. It is the end of the season with our Youth League men and NBL women both losing their finals last weekend. There are no more senior games left for us to be played. Thanks for joining us this year and we look forward to seeing you next year.